There we go. That should do it. That should do just fine. Thank you. Well then, good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator. Welcome to Monday. It's Monday, September 30th, 2024. You know what day that is, but it is also day 274. I smell oil. Tessa is still waiting to play her uh, her Starfield session. Um, we use the um, the uh, Starfield uh, script enhancer mod on there because you know makes uh, certain scripts uh, that you know extends it whatever you know how it goes. But we're waiting on that mod developer to update his mod or their mod because we don't know if. Don't complicate it, but we're waiting on them to, to update their mod. Otherwise, we can't start playing because it's on a different version kind of thing. Really simple, straightforward stuff. So we're just kind of waiting. And usually anywhere between a few hours and a couple days. Yeah, it should be all right. There's plenty of things to do. I mean, I can I can go back in and start playing Skyrim again. Because I haven't played... I have not played Skyrim in well over a year. It has been a while. I think the last time I tried to play Skyrim... I tried throwing some mods onto Skyrim VR and kind of broke it where every time I would try to go into Dragon's Reach, the game would just crash. Just Dragon's Reach. So I couldn't complete any quests. So I gave up on that. But aside from all of that, there's not really a whole lot going on here. We're just waiting on also tomorrow so we can do our much anticipated grocery shopping. I'm trying to think about what I want to do for the month of October. I am thinking we should do chili because I do have a prize winning chili recipe I haven't done in probably. Man, it's been probably like 12, 15 years since I've made my prize winning chili. So it's been a long time. It's been a really long time. But I have a really delicious five bean chili recipe that I could work on. But. I'll have to borrow my in-laws crock pot because unfortunately we don't exactly have space to have a crock pot. Heck, we sh technically shouldn't even have that air fryer I have. Although I, I can also add in personally, I don't like the air fryer. Lily and the kids, they love the air fryer for quick stuff. But what I can tell you is air fryers, air fryers are not a family friendly product to use. Like if you're a bachelor, or say, like, there's a married couple, no kids. Sure, an air fryer can be okay because it's only for, like, one or two people. But if there's more than two people in your household... Two, um... Fingers are doing the thing again. Um, if there are more than two people in your household, yeah, um... It's not going to be worth your time because you're just going to be... Instead of just throwing something in the oven, walking away and coming back when your timer goes off, you're going to be... Just at your air fryer at all times for multiple runs because you can only put so much in there. And believe me, when you do fries and stuff, don't fill it halfway. Don't do that. Just bottom layer, that's it if you want nice crispy fries. Otherwise, they're going to be mushy and gross. That's why I don't like the air fryer. When it comes to fries, yeah, air fried, they're all right. Although what I do is I still um, halfway through, I'll spray on some like butter, butter spray. You know, butter oil spray, because I know it's not good for you, but it's still less than deep frying. But personally, I like deep frying, but that's because I have really great deep fry uh, methods and stuff like that. Years of experience of working with fryers. And I know we are going to be doing more deep frying of stuff uh, next month. Lilia really, really wants me to make some funnel cake, which... To, oh. <laughs> This is going to sound really weird, but I have never once in my life had funnel cake. I've heard, I've constantly heard Lily go on about it. I've never made it, so I might take the opportunity to make some funnel cake. We'll see. There's also that possibility that if we really, really want to go the old uh, chunky donkey, I could make a deep fried Twinkie. Those are actually really easy to do. You just thin out, you, you pretty much do a sweetened pancake batter and you thin it out a little bit more and add a little more egg into your batter to you know as the binder but you want you want your your pancake batter to be th thinner batter um a little bit like in between the th the um consistency of pancake batter and crepe batter and you just dip your twinkie in that f deep fry it powdered sugar and chocolate syrup my goodness they're so bad for you it tastes like it tastes like you need insulation on an iv is what it tastes like oh Antibax christ has joined 
Oh yeah, while I'm at this, I'll go ahead and turn my camera off while we while we say hello to who just came in. But um while at that we'll go on about what world we're in today. Hello. How you doing? I can understand that. I'm actually, uh, cur I'm currently working on my, uh, my daily Hey Everyone, I'm Sober video, so it's a, it's a shout out to Antifax Christ. <laughs> but I decided, oh no, that's, that's totally fine, because, uh, it, it's cool, it's cool. But <laughs> I'm brain farting a little bit, but if, if you haven't noticed, I haven't spoken to another person in VR chat for four months ah. I get in here I do my video and then I go about my day taking care of my kids like when I'm done with this I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner for them unfortunately it just means they're having mac and cheese today but much like the video I'm recording right now I decided to go to the Diddy world so there's tons of baby oil if you need it <laughs> I can look at this saw the name of this world and I'm like is it gonna be like just a PNG of like Diddy everywhere and then some I thought that's what it would be Bloop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it squirts out Lamborghini those are Lamborghinis right I don't really know cars anymore some freaking baby oil everywhere there's gigantic baby oils by the pool there's more baby oil over there odes to did he now for the record though i will say he's innocent until proven guilty but my goodness if you if they go if they go to your house to gather evidence and they found what 1000 bottles of baby oil and i think it was like and a, i think it was a hundred objects of uh what in my household we call marital aids <laughs> uh, it was uh, 748. 748 marital aids. That's the best I can say because they were a little um, phallic. Uh, of uh, Marital aids of the phallic kind. There we go. It's like close encounters, only uh, the kind of close encounter you really don't want. I mean, that and... Again, a whole ton of baby oil. And his lawyer's excuse for it? Oh my goodness, his excuse that, that his lawyers gave was, well, he buys his baby oil over at Costco, so he buys it in bulk. I'm like, who, who gets a thousand bottles of baby oil in bulk at Costco? Yeah, he likes baby oil and jumbo gummy worms. <laughs> I've seen the jumbo gummy worms, so I'll give, I'll, I'll give him that one, because those things are fun. Especially if you watch Kentucky Ballistics, then they're really fun. <laughs> and yes, I do watch Kentucky. Uh, he did another one with the slow mo guys, but uh, the the one that I that's up today was slow mo guys doing a uh, uh, ultra high speed of a muzzle flash. But it's really awesome that that slow mo guys and Kentucky Ballistics have been working together so much. It is so fun watching those. I think I stopped a little bit after, uh, like, I think one of the slow-mo guys, uh, like, when they did one of their videos, it was, like, some kind of explosion, and then there was, like, Lego bits everywhere, and one of them, like, I think, like, scratched or, like, broke up one of the dude's fingers or something. Yeah. I can't remember if I saw that one, but that, that was, like, what, two years ago? Probably. It's been a while. Yeah, but on to that topic, this world, if, if you look for it, it's under new and noteworthy. It's literally called Diddy Baby Oil, Diddy Baby Oil, Diddy Party House. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, no, is it going to is it gonna, Diddy's going to be the next Bloody Mary, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, South Park already did something. Yeah, with like Biggie that, Smalls. Think, but with like Biggie Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> that no, episode was that TV. episode was great. That episode was great. I think that was was that the same one where Satan was talking about trying to do an epic party. It's like, what didn't did he do? 
Well, South Park had it pretty accurate. What didn't did he do? Apparently be, uh... Apparently keep himself out of court for, for things that, um... We're not talking on here because I'm trying not to be vulgar. <laughs> yeah, and I'm... A after my day 100 of being sober, I also tacked on um, a counter uh, for the, the VR chat naughty jar, naughty jar, which is how many times I've cursed. And in the past 174 days, I've only cursed 13 times. Although, although ten, uh, five or seven of them were my wife in one night. In like one five minute span, she just went on a cursing spree. Yeah, go play like a horror game with them. And well, that, that that's that's one thing for me. In all honesty, I can't play horror games. They're too they're too boring and scripted for me. Ah, uh, I mean, like where something's chasing. <laughs> oh, where something's chasing me. Uh, well, I do know that a few people in my family and a few people here along with my wife knows what does make me run even in VR chat. And, um, I don't want to bring it up because the last time it came up in VR chat, I was, I literally noped out of a regular old world. Uh, it was probably like something like bugs or like a cynic sound. Nope. It was Chuck E. Cheese the mouse from Chuck E. Cheese. No, like some kind of phobia, like bugs or something? Uh, oh, no, um, I do have one specific arachnid that I have a fear of, but it doesn't cause me to run. But the one thing that caused me to nope out of a world involved a, an in-real-life mascot. One specific one. And, um, it all, it all happened, it, it's all because of something that happened when I was 18, of all things. You're 18 years old, you should be used to it, but then when it's sprung upon you, and there it is, apparently you develop an instant discomfort of something. I feel bad for trying to guess, but it's just my, like, dumb curiosity. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't put it on, but it's Chuck E. Cheese the mouse. Uh, of, all, okay. of all freaking things, I know. <laughs> uh, so you said it was like a star or something, so I'm like, Kobe... Uh, Michael Jackson is it Bill Cosby? <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby seem pretty scary. I don't know. I mean, you said Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah, I could see it. <laughs> seeing the whole that we're in a Diddy world, Bill Cosby would kind of make sense. But no, it's Chuck E. Cheese, the mouse of all things. Yeah, there was a time. I want to say it was maybe 2020. Was it 2020 or 2020? Probably 2020. I mentioned it. Someone got into a Chuck E the mouse avatar and I just ran away so then it was early this year I was talking about it and someone got into it in a public world and I just immediately went to my home world severe discomfort from Chucky the mouse it was all because when I was 18 my stepmother heard that I'd never been to a Chuck E. Cheese before I don't care for it anyway lol was better used to be but so she heard when I was 18 that I had never been there. So she took the stepkids and myself to Chuck E. Cheese just because she was going there anyway. She snuck off while I was just in a corner minding my own business eating pizza. She snuck off, told the staff that I had never met Chuck E. So they got one of the employees dressed or something. So I'm just minding my own business. I look over and Chucky's like right here in my face. Just... Is it the newer Chucky or the older one? Man, this was... This was 2006. That's the best I could say. I don't, I don't know when they made a major change. The older, yeah, it's probably the older Chuck. Because, like, the newer ones, like, this, like, skinnier-looking one with, like, more of, like, a... Oh, like, it was plump. Mascot, big head. Well, it had the biggish head, but it was more plump, I'd say. But oh, okay. I just so kind of froze up. That's the only thing I had to do is freeze up while holding my pizza. Because it was part... What the H are you doing there? Terrified because those big old eyes are just staring at you with someone in there waving at you. And knowing that you can't use the instinct to give up your vow of pacifism. Because the instinct was, did turn into fight or flight. 
and you're not exactly allowed to do that in a public place to a mascot, so I just had to sit there and take it. I was violated. <laughs> it was so bad. I cannot hear the words. I cannot hear the words fight or flight without thinking of of uh, the show, the uh, Mike Tyson Mysteries. If you've ever seen Oh my it, goodness, like, I I love that you. show. I I haven't seen a whole lot of it because it came out when I was I think when I was already an adult because I've been an adult for a long time, but. So I've only been able to see a little bit here and there, and I love that show. And I absolutely love that what his sidekick is a pigeon because he likes to take care of pigeons, and that's one of the things that made him fight so hard as a kid. Did you see the fighter flight scene, though? No, I think I'm going to have to look it up, though. Yeah, that one's a need. It's so... It's, like, so funny. I, I love that scene. <laughs> I'll definitely have to check that out. It sounds fun cuz Mike Tyson Mike Tyson's Mysteries was one of the was one of the best simple cartoons. In fact, part of me liked it more than Aqua Teen, and I'm an Aqua Teen fan. Oh, no, that's oh man, good feels there. I still haven't checked out the Metalocalypse movie though. Oh yeah, I haven't like I am I'm actually kind of curious. It's not about the metal apocalypse, but uh, the fuck, uh, the, uh, uh, Mike Tyson when he fought um, what's his name, Jay Paul or Logan Paul? Uh, I believe that was can. As far the last I had heard on X is that a uh, while back is that it got had gotten canceled due to health reasons. Uh, so I don't know okay, if it's still on or what, but. Or I mean, the one part is. You'd really want to see it. The other part is, Mike Tyson's not exactly getting any younger. I mean, it's okay to retire. Isn't he in his 60s? Oh, uh, yeah, he's old, but, like... Yeah, like... Mm, he, it's, in all honesty, we would all want to just see Mike Tyson win. I'm sorry. We would, we would yeah. all want to just see him, like... You just Wait, want you just want to Jake see Mike Tyson Paul. level Jake Paul, but at the other side, oh, yeah. if Jake Paul won somehow, because we know how sometimes boxing get can get rigged, part of it could be, dude, you just knocked out a retired guy, he just <laughs> knocked out a geriatric, a near geriatric, so it's still not going to look good on your career, win or lose. Yeah, win or lose, you ain't going to look good. No. <laughs> You, I'm like, if you struggle, you struggled against someone who is like maybe early 60s, late 60s, I don't know, and you're in your prime, and you're telling me that's the best you can do, and if you beat him, you're telling me you have to beat someone that old. <laughs> who's like, the, who's <laughs> old enough to be your grandpa? <laughs> yes, I'm like, I'm sorry, but I feel like the only interesting fight with Mike Tyson, that'd be fair, that'd be decent, if... I'm like, just in case he didn't beat King Jake, I'm like, the same, a fair fight would have been something like Arnold. I mean, come on, I know he's not a boxer, I know Arnold isn't a boxer, but he was a weightlifter, yo, and we all know he's fit. He's super fit. You don't want to see him and like, The last thing I saw from Schwarzenegger you know, was him eating kimchi, of all things. Like, apparently he'd never had it, and he just ate it up. That's the only like thing I really YouTube saw. Channel, but it's like... Some kind of politics. It's usually him talking about like politics and stuff. But he has his own YouTube channel. And, oh, yeah, he, he he was he was the he or he is the former governor He's, of California. He, yeah, he was the governor right. of California up until I was about twenty. Because it was uh, two thousand eight was when he finished his term, and. I try not to go into it too much here, but what I can tell you, as, as a Republican governor, he couldn't get anything done because the ent the entire, you know, uh, California Senate, they just wouldn't listen to a word he said. That, and that's why things oh. crashed so hard at that time. Because one of his famous, famous things was, I don't care what's going on, just do your dang jobs. And they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But this was also at the same time of the uh, major recession, so... But anyway, it was very nice hanging out with you. I, I actually need to get going because at the time at this time for me it's six fifteen PM. 
So I need to finish what I'm doing here and make dinner for the kids. So, the name of your YouTube channel, by any chance? Same as my name, Tara Quator. Okay, I'll give it a try. All right, you take it easy. And as for you, everyone, I'm glad you stopped by. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Because um, I'm going to go make macaroni and cheese for the kids. I personally don't like macaroni and cheese. It's a texture thing. It makes me gag. But it's what we have. This is Tara Quator on your Monday, September 30th, 2024, day 274. Still sober, still feeling fantastic. We will see you all tomorrow on Monday, beginning of October. See you around, everyone. And enjoy the Diddy world. <laughs>